spirituality and religion all dwells around our homeland, which is the motherland, Africa. The first system on this planet was voodoo. Voodoo is a universal system. And what does this system consist of? All African spiritual systems that was called voodoo before it got its name was called the universal mystery system. And what this system is, it's a system to help to develop your inner self, to get in tune with your inner God, your inner self, and to get in contact and in tune with the cosmic energies and the cosmic forces of the universe, and to get in tune with nature, and to give homage and pay homage to your ancestors and to venerate your ancestors, and also to get in contact with your ancestors, who in turn, get you in contact with the universal creator, which is the source of all existence, your first ancestor. Now, the difference between religion and African spirituality is man. When man got his hands on the original universal system of African spirituality in Africa, he changed what was natural and turned it into what was artificial to control people. And what this man did was take the, the indigenous elements out of African spirituality is what is which what I just described to you, which is ritual, veneration of your ancestors, and getting in contact with the cosmic forces and energies of nature to help develop your consciousness, to reach your higher self, to take you on this journey, which we call life, which is your destiny. This is what African spirituality. Religion is a system of control. It's political. It's a system that has rules and it's a system that controls you to the point where you believe that someone is going to come back to save you. This is the difference between African spirituality and religion. Religion is a system of control and politics and, you know, manipulation and exploitation of your mind and your inner self that you're trying to get in contact with. So if you're a person that's into religion, you're a person that's easily to control and a person that's easy to manipulate into doing things and saying things from an artificial mentality. That's slavery. So that's the difference between African spirituality and religion. Now, do y'all, Nigers, Nagers, Niggas know the difference between African spirituality and religion? Do y'all? See, I couldn't break that shit down like that.